It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm out in the conservatory in the middle of winter because I've just finished filming a Jupila review on the Philips Perfect Draft. And over the last couple of days, I've heard some, I've heard some terrible news that Aldi's Rheinbacher Pilsner is no more. It is no more. Within a couple of months of it being brought down from 5% ABV in a brown bottle down to 4.5% ABV, which we have here, in a green glass bottle, they've discontinued it. So I'd like to speak about this today and have a conversation with you guys today about the whole situation and why I think it happened. Um, there's the bottle cap. So, I mean, it's a really rare beer now, isn't it? Because it's been discontinued. Do we, it's almost like, do, do we open it? Of course we do. Let's get it open. Right, so where do we start? I suppose at the very beginning. This is the first time I've tried the Rheinbacher at 4.5% ABV and all my reviews, as you know, are independent from anything else. Um, I've, seen the, I've seen the fuss on the internet, but all my, all my reviews are independent. Uh, my own thoughts are given into this whole situation. So, I think for one of the first, going back to the very beginning, I think one of the first situations we need to come across here is Aldi themselves. They went from a relatively small company during the financial crisis in 2007 and 2008 when the financial crisis hit and people had not much money. Aldi and Lidl had tremendous growth. Their companies grew 100% year on year. It was a case of going up your local Lidl or Aldi and, and seeing a, maybe a battered old Escort in the car park, to all of a sudden you're seeing Mercedes-Benz and BMWs parked in the car parks. And I used to scratch my head, what's going on here type of thing. Um, so the growth was massive. The growth was huge. And I think what they did, they underestimated their customer base who was buying this beer. That's what I honestly think happened here. They underestimated their customer base who was buying their beer, buying this Rheinbacher Pilsner. It must have had a massive kind of little niche marketplace all to itself. A little beloved marketplace where people enjoyed this beer because let's face it, it was £1.20 a bottle for a really good German Pilsner at 5% ABV. Let's, let's give it a bit a mini review. One finger white head, clear looking beer, slow moving carbonation. Let's get the aroma. My goodness me, what a difference. I reviewed this beer with a, one of the Aldi sausage plates and it was really good, the sausage plate and the beer. But this is um, it's quite shocking really. It's green glass bottle which any good German brewer would know not to do. You don't put your Pilsners in a green glass bottle because it's going to skunk. And it's skunk terribly. It has skunk terribly. The hops have reacted with the infrared lights or the sun and there's a horrible skunkiness in there. Let's dive in though. It's not too bad. I'm not looking to chuck it out the back door of my conservatory. Oh, it's got a nasty aftertaste though. It's skunky with a nasty aftertaste. The only thing that's good about this beer is it's cold and wet. Um, oh, me, what a different beer. What a different beer. What a different contrast. 
What a different contrast with this beer. I've never... And this is the problem. Let's get, let's, let's dig into this a little bit more then. So, after the 2008 financial crisis, people with their BMWs and Audi, Audis and, and Mercedes-Benz were pulling up into Lidl and Aldis like never before. And they picked up a bit of a market share. They're the fastest growing supermarkets in the UK. They still are. In 2021, they're still the fastest growing. They went from next to nothing, ghost town supermarkets, to everybody piling into their supermarket. And they, they had a massive fan base for this Rhinebacker Pills. So instead of doing the, the obvious thing, keeping it at 5%, keeping the original recipe, and maybe put in 10 pence on a pint. Maybe, or a bottle, maybe make it £1.30. I'm pretty sure people wouldn't have minded paying £1.30 for a bottle of their favourite Rhinebacker Pilsner. It hasn't had a price rise in 10 years. I'm sure people wouldn't have minded the 10 pence price rise. But no, what did they do? They went down the classic road of shrinkification. That road of, of when Doritos used to be in 250 gram bags, the grab bags, they were huge. And then they went to 200, 180 grams now. And, and you're still paying a pound, you're still paying that pound for the Doritos, but you're getting 180 grams, not 250. My favourite crisps were Doritos, and you could see that the bags were getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The sizes were getting smaller and smaller. Same with Curly Whirlies. Same with, 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 with anything really out there. It's called shrinkification. Bags of M&Ms. You know, they used to be great big bags of M&Ms, and now they kind of shrunk them down to next to nothing. But they still want to sell them for a pound. Aldi did the same thing. They went from 5% to 4.5% ABV. It's a classic shrinkification case. They've, they put less malt in the beer. So it, so it becomes 4.5, not 5% ABV. But the biggest mistake they made was put it in this horrible green glass bottle. What were you thinking, Aldi? Um... Big, big shame. Big, big shame. They've now discontinued this beer. This beer after they had a massive... I don't think Aldi realised the amount of fans that they had for this beer. When they changed it, when they changed it completely and made this... This is quite... This is quite not very nice at all. Skunky, horrible aftertaste. The only thing it's going for is it's wet and it's cold. Completely changed the beer. They've ruined their following for the Rhinebacker Pilsner. So what did they do? What they could have done, what I would have done, and I'm hoping what somebody from Aldi might be watching this. They could have said, we're sorry. We could, they could have redeemed themselves. They could have said, we're sorry. We'll put it back in the brown bottle. We'll give you your 5% Rhinebacker back. But we need to charge. We need to make a profit on it. We're going to have to sell it for £1.30. Do you know what? I think a lot of the customer base out there would have gone, OK, we're fine with that. But they went almost hard-nosed. Almost like they're too big now. All of a sudden, Aldi's become too big. And they've gone, do you know what? If you don't like it, we won't make it anymore. And that's the decision they've gone down. They've gone down the decision of, we will rather discontinue your beloved beer rather than give you what you had previously. And Aldi, I tell you what, that's a slippery slope. That is a slippery slope. If you're looking to go down that road of, of almost spiting your customers, Poof, I tell you what, 
Nobody's stopping me going to Lidl. Nobody's stopping me to go to Marks and Spencer's or Tesco or Sainsbury's or Morrison's because they're all price matching you. They've all come out just this week, just this week, mid-February. Sainsbury's came out and they said they're going to promise to price match Aldi. Do not rest on your laurels, Aldi. Do what the people want. Bring your Rhinebacker Pilsner back for 5% ABV in a brown bottle for £1.30 or £1.35 if you need to. People will pay for it. The reason being, you're a German company and you understand German beer. Sainsbury's, Max and Spencer's, Morrison's, Tesco. They don't understand German beer. They will not understand how to make a premium Pilsner cheap for £1.30 a bottle or £1.35. They won't understand that. You've got them by the short and danglies. That's the way to go about it. Bring it back. Don't spite your customer base. Don't just go, this beer's discontinued. Because we now have some short, fat, middle-aged managing director in charge who used to run Sainsbury's. Because, no, that's not expertise. Go back to where you were, go back to what you were all about, and be about the people. This, quite honestly, this Rhinebacker Premium Pilsner for 4.5% ABV is pretty terrible. And I can un totally understand the backlash against your company for it. It's a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. It's skunky, has a nasty aftertaste, and it's in a terrible green glass bottle. You're a German company, Aldi. What are you doing putting your beer in green glass bottles? You're a German company. You should know better. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.